All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be jumping into what I use on my Hyperlin setup. So a few people in my Discord and, and some comments as well um, had asked like what you know type of tools and stuff that I use for my configuration in Hyperlin. Pretty much no matter what you know dot files or whatever you know thing that I'm using, I always typically gravitate uh, toward these tools and being you know slightly newer that I went back to but yeah let's kind of just dive in and go through the list here so as far as the actual uh, distro that I'm currently using I'm actually on Garuda I have not used Garuda in a very long time I ended up using uh, Garuda because I just did a video recently on uh, Garuda Mocha just a new theme that they have on their KDE version of uh, uh, their distro and I just decided to kind of just continue on and I installed Hyperlin and I ended up installing the end four uh, dot files. But as you can see, I've kind of completely changed it. It's not, you know, looking the same. I'm not even using the same uh, bar, which they're now using Quick Shell and I'm using something different now. So, um, so yeah, so that's the distro that I'm on is Garuda Linux. So far, it's been great. It's been working um, as I wanted to. Gaming has been, you know, really good as well. So no complaints there, but you can still, you know, achieve these same things on like Endeavor OS, Cache OS, pretty much any other distro art there. Um, even if it's not Arch, um, I've used Fedora as well um, with Hyperlin. So you can definitely still achieve those things, but I am just on Gruta right now. And then as far as like terminal and text editors go, I'm using Kitty um, as my terminal and then Fish as the shell. So... I have used ZSH for pretty much my entire time on being on Linux. I don't like Bash at all. I've used ZSH for like like a really long time. I've used the, uh, ZSH for, ZSH for a really long time, uh, but I've gravitated toward the uh, towards Fish. Um, a couple other um, dot files have used those in the past, and I know Cache OS I think by default is using Fish, so I've I've kind of just gotten used to it. It, it just being the default and some of the configurations and things that I've used. So, so yeah, so I do like fish and I, I think I'll stick with it for, you know, a pretty long time here. But, um, as far as my text editor, sometimes just use, you know, nano, um, in the terminal, depending on if it's just like a quick change or whatever. But for the most part, I will use, um, genie. Um, I like genie because it keeps all the, you know, your tabs open. Every time you open it, like the, the same ones are there, so I can go back to them if I need to very easily. I mean, you can add like your uh, folders over here, so I can go through, you know, all my folders in my doc and fig and everything. It just it just laid out very easily and nicely, um, and it's simple. I like simplistic <laughs> when it comes to this. So, whenever I'm you know updating a config or something, then um, I would just you know open Genie and do it in there. Um, if it's something super quick and easy, I'll probably just use Nano if I already have the terminal open. It's just easier to do that at, at, at times. But if I'm going a little bit deeper, then I'll probably just use Genie. Um, I do have like you know VS Code and things like that as well, but that's more on the development side. I like to keep you know those things kind of separate. So I'm messing with my you know system and my config to use Genie um, and anything like project wise, um, I would use you know VS Code for that. So so yeah, so that's it for a uh, text editor and the like terminal side of things. And then for my desktop, I'm currently using the hyper panel up here at the top. So I do have the hyper panel and I'm using the actual uh, theming option that comes with it. So if I go to theming, um, it's Mantugan uh, settings and then it just pulls from the, the wallpaper that you have set um, here. Well, I did have it set <laughs> at one point. It's not showing anymore, but it is still pulling those uh, those colors. I, I can tell that it's the you know same color scheme there. And then you know I, I've kind of themed and uh, changed everything here. So if you do want you know my exact bar, I can definitely share my configurations uh, with you because um, you can't export them and just import the JSON file that um, populates after that. So yeah, just join the Discord and, and ask for it if, if that's something that you're looking for. Um, I can definitely do that. And I, I, I switched to the hype back to the hyper panel. I used it for a while there and then I just went back to Waybar. And then I was using the um, AGS panel that was on the N4 dot files. And he just switched it to uh, Quick Show, which it doesn't have all the features that it used to have that were on the AGS panel. I guess he's just, you know, working on getting those back to uh, where he had it before because Quick Show is, is still very, very new. So, 
you know, it's going to take some time to get all that, you know, configured and whatnot, which is fine. Um, but I just like the simplicity of the hyper panel and uh, the configuration and customization that it has. So I just went back to it so I can just, you know, very easily, you know, quickly make uh, adjustments and changes and, you know, kind of just make it that I want. I like to have it, you know, floating off the top there and have like a little bit of a, um, a gap and rounding and stuff like that. So um, that's what I went with and I do like it a lot. So I do suggest that if you are looking for a very customized uh, panel that even has a, a GUI option to kind of update things and, and make things you know easier on your life for, for updating those things. And then as far as my dock, I have this dock at the bottom. It is the NWG dock um, Hyperland. And I'll, I'll you know, link all these in the, in the description below so you can check those out uh, as well. But, you know, I've used this dock for a very long time. I just like having a dock. Uh, I know some people are like, you know, you're using a tiny window manager. You're supposed to just use your keyboard. But if we're being real, like, you still got to use your mouse. <laughs> so if I'm on a web page, I'm clicking around, I'm on, I'm doing something or whatever. I just need to quickly open Genie or, uh, you know, my file explorer or something like that. Then I already got the mouse in my hand. I don't need to, you know, do anything on the keyboard. If I don't want to, uh, I can, if I want to, obviously I have, you know, key bindings for, you know, opening those things just fine, but it, I don't always have to do that. I just have the capability of already having the mouse in my hand and going over and clicking it and it's just as easy. So um, I do like having the dock. I do like to know what's like what's open as well. And then you can actually click on it. It'll take you to the monitor and you know what, um, where that's at. So um, it's just nice. Um, so I like to have the dock. So the dock down there is the NWG dock. And then as far as my lock screen and my um, idle system, I'm no longer using Hyperlock and Hyper Idle, but I am using uh, Sway Lock and Sway Idle. Um, for some reason, I kept having this issue where my my lock screen would just just fail. So I'd wake it up, and then I just get this uh, notification from I guess it's a default Hyperland thing, um, and it'll just pop up and say, you know, your thing has failed. You can log into the TTY and you know log back into Hyperland that way. Um, and it was just happening more often than not. And so I went ahead and switched to um, Sway Lock and Sway Idle, and I've actually really enjoyed it. Um, it's been working pretty well. Um, I did have to create some scripts here to on the resume to reload my panel and my dock. So I do have that, you know, script in here. And also my, my wallpaper and just my main monitor for whatever reason was not regenerating um, when I, you know, logged back in. So I had to do a wallpaper restore on there. Um, and then I'm just, you know, relaunching my panel and, and the dock, you know, at the bottom there. So so yeah, so that's uh, what I have there. And I do also have a key binding just in case anything else fails. I, um, I have, you know, bound a, a reload uh, my panels and my um, dock as well. So I do have that option. Um, it's just a bash script that I created there to get that to reload if I need to. So those are two things that I created. And so yeah, that's that's the desktop um, itself. And as far as some different apps that I'm using, I am using the Nemo File, file Explorer. I like it. I like the way, you know, it themes nicely with uh, different themes and stuff that we have that I have, you know, installed. And I, I mean, I guess I can show you that too. Um, I am using uh, Graphite Dark um, as my actual theme itself. And then as far as my icons, I'm using Telecircle Dracula Dark. So that's what's getting the um, uh, the icons that you see here and the icons that you see, you know, on the bottom here. So, you know, I just like the, the theme for Dracula, but I do like the circle, um, through the, uh, tele option. So, and then my cursor is just the modern classic, um, option that comes default with a lot of hyperlink configurations. But so yeah, so those are my, you know, icons and um, themes that I'm currently using. And then I am using the Nemo, um, as my file explorer and then for like screenshots and stuff like that i'm just using hypershot and screenshot tool um, i just have that bound so i can just you know take a screenshot real quick and then it saves into my you know pictures folder here with all the you know screenshots and stuff there so yeah, it's very easy and uh it's easy to set the key binding and stuff for it so nothing uh too crazy there and then i have zen browser as my default web browser um i do I love the Zen browser. Um, I've been using it for a very long time. It works for me. It, it's really easy to uh, to use. Um, the only thing that I, I I don't like is that it is on the 
Firefox uh, backend and it's not using Chromium. So for some things for work and other things that I have, I do have the Chromium app um, installed so I can, you know, use those things on, on there just for, you know, my work and development and stuff like that. So I do have to have that, you know, available, but for primarily any, any searching or anything that I'm doing, um, you know, for my YouTube channel or anything else, it's always done on my Zen browser here. And then I do use the, the web app manager a lot. Um, so as you can see here for work, I have these two um, icons down here and then messages. Those are just created um, through the web app manager. So it's just a very easy way to uh, get, you know, certain apps to be, you know, full screen um, applications. I'm not going to pull this up because it's like, you know, some private information and stuff in there, but I'm able to get those into like an app and I have them tiling automatically and everything like that. Because I know for some reason, when you create a web app on Hyperlin, it just automatically floats. I didn't have to go in and create some uh, rules to automatically make them tile. So those are all like my web apps right there and um, how I'm making them automatically tile. And then I know that the in four uh, dot files, they had like an option where you can have like a have like Gemini or ChatGPT um, pop up and like the side panel automatically. I did get used to that and I really liked it. So I used the same key binding and just created a web app with the Gemini. Um, so that way it pops up in this uh, uh, window here automatically. So I made it float. Um, I probably will, you know, eventually make it so it's, you know, over in the, the corner here and maybe you know, look like this or something and have it, you know, fly in or whatever. And I can get more, <laughs> more, uh, customized with it, uh, later on. But for now, um, I literally just have it, you know, pop up as a window like this. I can do my search and then, uh, and then, you know, behind the windows and stuff, if needed, I can always, you know, make a tile, um, if I want to, but so, yeah, so that's another web app um, that I am using there. And uh, see, that's pretty much it on the, the web app front. Chat more about it in the Discord. Uh, but yeah, really trying to make this a full-time gig. If you can consider um, liking and subscribing. Um, and if you want to donate, you can hit the little thanks button below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.